Hi, welcome to Our Adventures. We're Sharon and Joe. Some of our hobbies include shark tooth hunting, metal detecting, and fishing. Come along with us and enjoy our experiences. We visit many different states along our journey. We hope that you can learn and share your experiences with us as well. Today we're going out on the bay, doing a little fishing and clamming, and we're going to show you the setup of our Saturn 12 foot inflatable. People are usually really impressed by our boat, so we thought it'd be a cool vlog to show you. Um, we're pretty fast at it now when we got it. it was We were slow at it when we first got it, but yeah. it took a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, the gnats are like, curve. the gnats are crazy here. I'm gonna show you the bug spray too. We're not sponsored by them, but. Yeah, we're not, but it works. Uh, it's amazing. I found out it's what the army uses. Yeah. So this is our bug spray that we use. And we put, as soon as we got here, they were swarming us, like swarming us. As soon as we put this on, like you see them all over, but they're not coming near us. The stuff is amazing. Get yourself some if you're gonna go on a boat. Okay guys, so it's 7.53 right now. In the morning, we are gonna start setting up our boat. We're gonna do a time lapse to show you how long it takes and we'll let you know when we complete it what time it was. We got done at 8.20. I don't remember the time we started, but we did have a little bit of mishaps. Joe got hurt a little bit. We forgot our pump. So we had to do the manual pump, but it still was pretty fast. And it, we're gonna go out on the boat and show you how fun it is. Secret clamming spot. Yep, we're out. Here, yeah, we're out here in Tuckerton Bay, and I have a area where there's lots of clams, but there's clams all over the bay. You just have yeah. to some time to find where they're really concentrated. Yep. We've been doing it for a few years, so we have a good spot. It's not hard yeah. to do. Yeah. No. And then here's our boat. We didn't actually show you the inside of the boat, but it's a mess right now. So just excuse the mess. What they call this? They call this scratch raking. Just take a rake, basically it has these long fingers on it. Just drag along the bottom, kind of slow, and you feel a little tink when it hits a clamp. And dig them up. It's pretty simple. Yep. So here, I'll, sh I'll finish showing you the boat. It's, we just put a regular chair in for me. Um, I don't like the bench chair. And then, it's pretty big, it holds a lot of stuff. And then we just got him this cushion. Has like a bag underneath. It so carries all of our stuff. Love my new cushion, thank you, honey. <laughs> and then we have a real motor. Yep. You want to talk about? It? Twenty horsepower Honda outboard runs great. Uh, it's a 2020. I have my fish finder set up here. GPS. Mm -hmm. Awesome setup. And the cool thing is, if something happened to the motor, we have oars, so we could we could. Uh, go back to uh, shore. We so. have a chance. Yeah. Anyway, um, we are, we'll show you clamming. Yep. The mother load. So we're already up to 36 clams, uh, some steamers, some cherry stones, some little necks, very few little necks, but we got a few in there. Yeah. When I talk about little necks, I mean like really small clams. This is the around here. This chowder clams are the really, really big ones. We got probably two or three of those too. It's a good variety of sizes, but awesome being out here. We love clamming. Mm -hmm. It's exercise too. Uh, dig let it out. me tell you, I've been doing this for years, and this is the first year I am struggling. <laughs> <laughs> it is a lot of work. It's it's not easy, but we really love it. It's yeah. so much fun. We'll show you. We're not getting any younger guys, but we're enjoying our life. So it's great. I know. I think that we're just out of practice. Yeah, we're out of shape. It's been a long, cold winter here in New Jersey. We haven't been out doing anything like this. So. Yeah. 
we'll get back into it, don't worry. I will show you how we clam. Yep. Take your rake with the fingers out, like that, put it down into the mud. Walk along and wait till you feel a little against the middle. The shell of the clam will hit the rake. Maybe we can put it under water so you can hear it. Ready? Show us how it's done, honey. Whoa, she put it down right on top of a clam, guys. She is good. No, I'm not. Oh, yeah, I heard it. There it is. Look at that perfect size. So you have size. to kind of like scoop it and keep it in there, otherwise, it will fall. Yeah. And oh, and also, also, this too. Oh yeah, cock they call those cockles, I believe. They're like fuzzy. It's really weird how a shell has fuzz on it. Like really, really weird. If you felt it, it's just really fuzzy. It's cute. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna throw him back because we're not gonna eat him. Yeah. And Joe's gonna eat this that's, guy. That's the one for clams on the half shell right there. Do one more. It does not want to come up off the bottom. If I had to guess, I'd say shark. Or a stingray? I'm going to say shark. It's fighting like a shark. Is it coming up? Yep. Here it is. It's, it's a shark. shark. It's a big shark. Woo! mess out of my bait though. My rod. I caught the first flounder of the season. She had Woo the downsize. Hoo. Figured it out. We have the downsize. I want to show. Where's my flounder? Here's my flounder. He's over here. He's so cute. Okay, he almost hit, I think he hit the camera. He might have hit you. She's got, she's got another fluke. This one's a good one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh no, my God. No, no. That's a big fluke. Oh, that's a big fluke. There you go, bring him in. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, wait. Yeah, that's a good one. Slack it off. Yeah. That's a fucking good fish right there. That's your biggest fluke ever. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so excited! That's your biggest that's your biggest fluke I'm ever. Hold them. Right there. That's like a three three or four pounder. <gasps> that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> you dropped it right on his head, I think. <laughs> Somebody's happy. I am so happy! Woohoo! Can I grab them? Yeah. Be careful. Uh -huh. They're very powerful. Don't hold them over the side. Oh. And it hold them. That's a good fish, babe. Nice fluke. That's like a 20, 22, 23 incher. Very nice. 
can you so I got the biggest flounder that I've ever gotten on this boat and how big is it 20 inches 20 inches pretty good fish woo, woo. I got three today and he has zero two sharks though anyway sharks don't count. hopefully we get more My wife doesn't eat fish, but since she caught her own nice sized flounder this weekend, she's going to try the most mild fish I know, which is flounder, and the white side of the flounder, which is extra thin and should be good. I think she's going to like it. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know. I'm making it in butter and olive oil. Very simple. So I prepared her fish in a simple, wet, very simple way, just butter and olive oil. And there was a little bit of steak juice left in the pan, so it might add some flavor to it, but she's never eaten fish at all before. She's never liked it. She caught this flounder yesterday, so I think if she's gonna try a fish, this will be the one she caught herself. Let's see what happens, guys. Oh, I'm so scared. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna have this little piece. Here we go. <laughs> It doesn't taste fishy at all. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? It almost tastes like a soft chicken. Yep. Like really soft, tender chicken. Exactly. Not bad, right? No, it's not bad. Flounder. I'm still doing little bites. I'm still nervous. <laughs> not bad? Not bad. I think it's in my mind. It's not bad though. It's, it's all in your head. It's really good. It's all in your head. Actually, I don't even taste fish at all. No. Nope. I don't taste that fishy, smelly, nope. the smell that I always get and I hate. It don't, I don't know. Can it even smell? It's super fresh though. So. Oh God, it's like, it's like chicken. Yep, chicken of the sea. Chicken of the sea. <laughs> Yay, she likes it. Mikey, she likes it. We had a great weekend on our boat. We will leave the information and the description of our boat below. If you would like to see more vlogs like this, please leave a comment below and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for joining our adventures. We're happy to have you. See you next time. So guys, the gnats can't get me with my head net. Tuckered in, you definitely need the head net and full body armor, not armor, but a raincoat, long pants, long sleeves. You gotta have it here at Tuckered in or you're gonna get eaten alive by the bugs if there's no wind. I present to you, Tuckered in man. Florida man's jealous. <laughs> <laughs>